just pop that back and I'll now turn you around, get your close up and show you. Stay. Stay. That thing starts rolling off, we're all got problems. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Project Overland. I'm Project and I'm going overland. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> when all this COVID nonsense stops and uh, we've built a truck. So in the meantime, um, what can I bring you that is going to be of interest? Uh, so I've, I've, I've racked my brains a little bit and I'm bringing you a, a selection of the things that I've been buying towards this uh, whole expedition. Uh, we're not obviously not onto the big stuff yet. But we've still got a little collection, we've bought some bargains and uh, I'll explain why uh, and what they are and uh, talk about the pricing and why, it, why it's important. So um, have a look uh, and see what you think. If you've got any questions and if you've got uh, an item of interest, do put it in the, in the comments. Uh, it's, it's great to have a little bit of interaction. In the meantime, enjoy. Catch you at the end. So this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and... Um, however you want to identify, because um, there's no judgment here, um, is a diesel heater. So your intake on the top, you've got your air intake at one end, and then your exhaust, your nice warm blown air coming out. And this, strangely enough, looks identical to um, our, our Basto. Now, Obasto are brilliant. German, Herbis Fashion, German. Um, but I think around about six, seven hundred pounds for the same thing. And hundred quid. Even if I keep this as a spare, as a backup, even if it's not brilliant or it doesn't do the whole truck, that's a bargain. So that one is either my spare or my primary, depending how well it works. But all intents and purposes, the reviews are good, saying that they work well. Um, nobody has any issues with them. So we'll see how that goes. But this, that's how you save your money to build the stuff for the for your expedition truck that you need. Parking. So um, Chris Scott's Overlanding Handbook, I think it's about 20, quid, uh, 20 pounds off Amazon. So that's a, uh, that's a must. Just gonna show you here the difference between Rosie's new boot, it's got more than one. And this is a Volkswagen 18 inch alloy from a, a Volkswagen van. have to cut the bit of can't get my gloves on. Really ridiculous. So that compared to that. Okay, so this was the, probably the most expensive bit <laughs> out of all. Um, I'm in a little splurge, but 
all of this second hand one previous owner who went on an, um, a trip to North Africa uh, Portugal North Africa and he used it once so we've got Garmin in reach uh, mini which is um, a uh, satellite uh, communication device cradle for it and then sat nav and then the backup cameras can't show you the backup cameras because they're not actually physically in the box and um, they were missing but they are coming and the vital cup of tea we'll just take a sip of that oh that's good for lighting fires and stuff. Hold on a sec, let's find something to burn. So I found some paper, proper paper, just really cheap, corner of a manual. Not what I need, an old one. Oh, there you go. Look at that line there, you can cut it. Okay, you've been really patient, but thanks. Well, now we're getting to the exciting stuff. Trust me, where's the camera gone? That way, that way. Oh, still. can't tell you how hard it is. I've been studying it getting really hot inside this garage door. Shut the garage door because the traffic going past, making all the noise. And uh, now everybody's free to get out. And I'm seeing you going, oh, I'm getting hot in here, I'm getting hot. Of course I'm getting hot, door's shut. I realize I've got my hat on. Facing away from the camera, no one can see me, still got my hat on. It's like, project, you idiot. Anyway, more the good stuff. Three more things to come, I think. Three bits. All of them really important. All of them really, really useful. And all of them bargains. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to film this because it's sealed in a bag. And I don't really want to take it out. But that is a diesel transfer pump for pumping diesel between tanks so from your main tank your reserve tank to your main tank um it's used but it's a couple of years old but it was a mere 50 pounds and that's like four three four hundred quid worth of pump i'm not going to open it because it smells of diesel because it's been used and you can smell it from here so i'm going to put that back but again bargain Okay, so this one, I'm not going to take it out of the box. You'll get to see it when I go to install it. Uh, it's fairly obvious what it says. Uh, that is what it says on the tin or the box, even. That is a Pioneer AVH Z 9200 DAB. So I've got DAB radio. I've got Apple CarPlay, all the other stuff, Waze. And um, yeah. Bluetooth for the phone, for the, when you're driving in truck, you don't want to do, you have to do hands-free, doubled in. Now, I bought it on a bit of a whim, and it came off a Land Rover forum where you can get doubled in adapters, and it has got the doubled in adapter cable for the Land Rover. I have no idea if A, there's space on Rosie's dash for doubled in, because um, there is a single DIN slot, or um, how we're going to wire that up. But we're still, I didn't think that about the 24 volt thing. So I'm not quite sure about the 12 volt element. I think I might have made a bit of a mistake and bought the wrong thing. On the other hand, 600 quid for the stereo, paid 300 quid for it. It is brand new. It is a one of those, um, it didn't work. Went back to the repair shop, came back. Full warranty, but it's never been used, never been fitted. Well, it must have been fitted because it didn't work. But you get the drift. Anyway, it looks brand new. And to all intents and purposes, it was brand new. And it was half price. Lovely job, another bargain. Well, yeah, if it works and I can fit it, it's a bargain. If it's not, and doesn't, a little bit of a stone around my neck. But it can always be sold. Last, last one coming up now, promise you, stay with me, this is the best. So here it is. I'm very excited by this, but not as excited as I should be. I'll explain in a minute. But this, folks, 
dear watchers, dear viewers, um, is what I think is the first Sherpa stallion in the UK. Now, what's so great about this? It's a winch, you say. Okay, well, first of all, take a look at the size of it. So if we use the uniform size of my wrist with a watch, you can see it is actually a hefty, hefty drum. That is 13 mil Dyneema on there, which is well, normally you use 10, max 11. So um, I think this is 20, 30 ton braking strain, maybe a bit more. That's your aluminium hose. And she is a beast. 8.9 horsepower motor, which is probably at least one and a half horsepower more than uh, most of the biggest winches we get. But the main thing about this one is for an electric winch, this is a 25,000 pound in weight. So for some reason, winches are measured mostly in um, Imperial. So 2.2 pounds to uh, a kilo, you're talking maybe 11, 12,000 uh, kilos, so 12 ton, which is pretty much where I expect Rosie to be when she's finished. Um, my original, or well, my main thought is to put this on the rear in between the chassis legs at the back, partly for lifting the spares, but also for recovery. And we can run an extension to the front through um, a uh, tube. But she's a beast, big, big winch. However, there was a small problem. Not the company's fault, but in shipping, the transit company managed to beat the living daylights out of it. And this is what you get. Smashed in, that's useless. So this is, uh, uses all bright solenoids, which are the most expensive ones for the control box. And it's in a waterproof housing and it's got waterproof connectors on the cables and it's junk. So, um, yeah, disappointed. However, fair play to them. They stepped up and sent the, uh, shipped out the replacement part. Um, the second part is, you may or may not have spotted this. That word there says 12 volt. It also says 12 volt over there. Yep, you guessed it. They sent me 12 volt and I'd ordered 24. But again, they're shipping me a brand new motor and the replacement part and it's already left Australia. So fairness to them, that's not that's not bad at all. Coming with the remote, uh, with the winch, sorry, um, is your wired remote as usual. It's got this nice ergonomic trigger thing with a simple in out, but it's got, you can see it there, nice in out, and Sherpa branded. Yeah, that's a little bit plasticky cheap, but it's okay. Nice big hefty socket on it, long lead, that's good. And I also ordered up with it the wireless remote, which again, nice. You can see the writing on there, in out. So we've got the remote, and then the final bit that came with it is uh, this really, really lovely thing, which is um, a soft shackle. So normally you're using metal shackles, steel shackles, but this is, of course, made out of the same rope that this is made from. And then fastens over like that. And that is your, don't say what that looks like. Um, yeah, I thought it might have been me, but um, through there, like that. also handy, depending where you are, which country you're in. Not that I would ever condone this. I'd probably hurt. So, but I didn't tell you that. So there we have it. That is my pride and joy. Well, pride and joy. It's a winch, isn't it? But it's lovely. Look at it. It's yellow. 
He's yellow, he's 25,000 pounds in pulling power. Big, big wedge. Um, and that set me back about 1,200 of your English pounds. Sounds like a lot of money, but go look at prices of winches, including tax, including shipping. Bargain. So all of the stuff that I saved before, the money I was saving left, right and centre, was unable to buy me the big ass winch, which is something that may or may not save my life. When you're, you've got it slightly wrong, go look, go, go and look up some of the expedition trucks and some of the pictures where they've got it slightly wrong and they're hanging off of the edge of a, um, a small ditch or they're tipped over. That's the thing that's going to grab you and pull you out or it's going to grab someone else. So it could be, most people say that the winches that they've got on their expedition trucks, they never used them for themselves, they used them to pull someone else out. So you could come across someone who's been sat in a desert or somewhere for three days, not able to move, and this could be their lifeline. So never, never, never skimp on your winch. Tyres, don't skimp on them. Brakes, that's, my, that's Project's advice to you. Lifelong, life-saving advice. And that, my friends is the end there we go um hope you found that interesting and i will catch up with you next time that's about it all to say is next vlog will be a really cool one because i'm really i hope when well, i'm really intending to have it going coming from the box builders so uh, keep an eye out for that one. That will be uh, quite, um, uh, probably even a two-parter because it's going to be quite long. Um, assuming I can get the, uh, the, the box builder to uh, on, uh, get him on, on an interview and we're talking about the stuff and record it. But we'll see what comes of that. So keep watching. Uh, if you want to be notified of that, hit the bell and that will give you uh, notifications. Uh, so you'll know when it comes out. And um, in the meantime, uh, stay safe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.